Are you running? You sure? All right. What I want to do is I want to find the center of the board. So I've measured 16 and a half, which is what? Half? Eight and a fourth. Eight and a fourth. Eight and a fourth. So we'll find eight and a quarter. Let's make sure that's on the edge. Eight and a quarter should be right here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it 90 degrees and we're going to find the other side. Right about here. Here is eight and a quarter. Okay. So what's wrong with this picture right here? Where's the actual center at? Right there. You sure? Yep. So if we measure over, that's roughly eight and a quarter. Now we're going to measure over here. That's roughly eight and a quarter. Good job, bud. Thank you. So, right here is our center point. Then what I like to do from there, get a straight edge. And run us a straight edge. We can actually see our center. Like this. This way, son. You watching what you're doing? Yep. Okay. Now, we got our center, right? What we're going to do here is we are going to take our Lazy Susan. You can put these on one or two ways. What's a Lazy Susan? I'll show you. I kind of how they make chairs. Is it a Nana? Is that... Can we consider that a lazy Susan? No. <laughs> That's rude. That is rude. Then I'll smack me. Yeah. All right. So right here, our lines are going through all four of our holes. So what's an easy way to mark that is to just take and center punch all these right here. Since it's pine, it's good and soft. There we are. And One, then, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get this thing mounted. We'll be right back. All right, Isaac, go ahead and get that screwed in there, bud. That's good. Go ahead and get that one in there. Don't get my fingers. Go on. Just want to make sure it still spins. Showed you my hairy arms again. You want to put one in, Caleb? Sure. Alright, Caleb, come here and put this last one in. Get the push. Yeah, thank you. This is a light drill. Push, there we go. All right. Ow. All right. Now let's see if it works. Hold on. On the truth. Stop! 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 Stop it! All right. It goes crazy fast. Oh, oh, I'm getting dizzy. So we know that it works. Stop. So now the next part is we're going to locate the dial on one end here somewhere. So we can work with it. So let's figure out where we're going to put that. All right. What we got is a one inch dial. And I am going to try to do this. Well, not with this big long ruler. I am going to get my stainless ruler here. We got 
one inch. One inch. So obviously the one inch is a half Big inch. Big meat hooks are in the way. So we're gonna go here to half inch, and we're just gonna kind of eyeball this and make us a center line. Does that look center? Not really, does it? Mm -mm. It's a little bit. Mm, it looks pretty center. So. Some of mine is going to be about right there. All right. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get a drill bit on the drill because we don't want to split our dowel rod. We want to go ahead and pre-drill our hole first. All right. Ready? Dowel rod's drilled. Hole's drilled here. Got a little bit of super glue. Putting it down in the hole here. Got a screw on the bottom. So Isaac's going to get down here on the floor. And go up through the top. I'm going to put a little bit of super glue in this hole here. Oh, me when you're ready. Just a little bit. Isaac's getting down there and getting ready to go. Whoa. All right, bud. You ready? Yep. Straight in, okay? Yep. Straight in. Go. Whoa. You got to go slow. Whoa. All right, go. Oh, Put it in straight. I'm trying to. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Oh my god. Put. Please stand by. Technical it's not a hammer, bud. I know. I can't do this. You can't do this? You gonna hold it for me then? Oh my. Is the drill too heavy? No. Please stand by. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. What the? Please right. stand by. Right. I got it from here. Please stand by. You here. No, I can give me, do it. Give me this. I can do it now. All right. Go. Straight in. Get this action shot over here, Caleb. Straight in. Push. Push. There we go. Keep going. No more. Hold that rod. <laughs> Got it? Yep. Sure? Mm -hmm. Ow! Well, he got hurt. Ow. All right. It's in. All right. That took longer than it should have. <laughs> took way longer. All right, let's get the clamp on. All right, got our hole drilled for the top. We don't have, no, I want this left on. I want this left on. That's why I poked the hole on there. Now we got our clamp. Got our clamp that's going to go on there just like that. You poked and, that hole right there? Yep. And we are going to get this thing screwed down, and we are almost done. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, Caleb. What I need you to do is hold that thing right there. Good and level. Hold it still. So there it is. There's your there's your clamp to put your baits on. So go get your big bait and let's see how it works. All right, Isaac's uh, big bait, his first big swim bait that he made. Uh, we have to go back to the drawing board, though, don't we, buddy? Didn't work the way we wanted it, but that's not about this bait, but you can see what's going on here. Being able to paint it, not have to hold it. So, that's going to work pretty good, I think. What do you think, boys? Mm -hmm. 
Do uh, this. I want to. Do this. Spray and spray. I want to put a big shot out to Fred Hold Bates uh, for having a YouTube channel so the boys could see this table and bug me about making one of their own. Uh, so I, I can't take the credit on this one. He's got two, but there it is. Our painting turntable for our big baits. And this one is coming next. This is Caleb's first swim bait. And we're going to try to make it a glider. Uh, that's going to, we got to add a lot of weight to this one to, to get it to go. But thank you all for watching uh, this quick build. It took us, what, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. guys? No. Once we got it all done. What do you think? Mm, it's cool. Caleb's tired. So, all right. Y'all be good. And this is Larry Johnson from the Outdoor Office. No matter what the season, we got you on our side. You got that right. Y'all be good.